running my SQL on Tamox. The first thing is to ensure that Tamox is installed on your device. I have mine already, but if you don't, just go to the Play Store and look for the app Tamox. Tamox. Then you open it. Install it if you don't have yours installed. I, I just opened mine. The PKG. Then updates. PKG updates. Pass the Y flag. Just in case, then just give it some time depending on your internet speed also. So now to upgrade the package versions, PKG, upgrade, upgrade, then you bring up the white flag. Okay, so just give it some time as well. You can see mine is upgraded. So there's this command that um if you open the the description, you will see the command there, just copy it and paste it into the uh, terminal. So I have mine already here. So just copy this, copy this, then go back to the terminal. And basically paste it okay so this is going to install everything that you will need to run sql on your device so just give it some time for it to install you can see the download size the space needed and all that so this will take some time depending on your internet speed as well so this will just give it some time so when it gets to this particular point you are going to have to set it to no restrictions, okay? So set it to no restrictions. Um, the interface you will see to select that on your end might be different because of the difference in the type of Android we operate. But just to make sure that you set your battery to um, not use battery saver, no restrictions in battery usage. So as you can see, it created a new folder called MySQL for Tamox, and um, it, it did basically CD MySQL for Tamox by default. So you can see the directory that I'm currently in. So if I should list out all the files I have in this directory, you will see start client.sh, start server.sh, okay? And if you look at some few lines of um, logged data to the console, you will see MySQL server started successfully. So at, the, at this point, the server is on, okay? The MySQL server is on, but now we need to create an interface with which we will interact with the database. So we start the client, okay? So the server is the MySQL um, instance running in the background. The client is what gives you the interface to interact with the MySQL server. So I want to start the client, which is a MariaDB interface. So what will I do? Just if you want to set the password, you can also use setpass.sh, but I'll just leave it as the default, which is basically no password. So if you want to start the server, maybe you are um, you are coming back to uh, the, your Tamox, and um, maybe after you put your phone off and all those things, and you want to start the server again, just then start server. .sh, okay? But my server is up already, so I don't want to start server. What I want to do is to start the client. So start client. Okay, start client. Don't forget .sh. So if I should run this, it is asking me for password. Just enter. Just enter, and you can see. If you want to set your password, you can just use the set pass um, command set pass.sh, but I'll just leave mine as the default for now. So if you notice something, it is giving me a MariaDB interface, okay? And you can see currently the selected database is none, as you can see in the line, in the last line here, MariaDB none. So at this moment, no database is selected. No database is selected. So to verify the authenticity of this particular database that we have, I can do something like select, no, select the version, okay? Then, no, close. Don't forget you have to terminate the SQL command using a semicolon to 